Well, hello there, you two. Welcome, everybody, to PB's PPV predictions. Not a lot of people give a shit about these videos. However, I made a commitment to do them, so I'm going to fucking do them anyway. Uh, nine days away, we are from WWE's Battleground 2014. Now, if you look on Wikipedia, the card, uh, I don't know if... Uh, whoever does all the WWE stuff or the people who do it have slacked off, whatever the fuck. Uh, but I'm going to be using nodq.com, and that's going to be the link in the description. I'll always link, uh, or you know, link the page with all the matches and stuff on, you know, in the description. Whatever the fuck. Uh, however, this time, just due to things being messed up, uh, I'm going to be using this one so you can see the majority of the matches. However, this may not be all the matches, and they like to fucking add them on the same day so that people who make prediction videos have no way of, uh, have no way of, uh, making their videos beforehand, you know, what the fuck. But what we have here is a pay is a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches. Uh, if they add any more, I could I I couldn't find a fuck to give to be honest. And there's one or two of these that I already don't give a fuck about. So here we go. We're gonna start off at the bottom and work our way to the top. We got Chris Jericho versus Bray Wyatt, and if anybody thinks that Chris Jericho is winning this, I am so fucking sorry that you don't understand how wrestling works. Chris Jericho, for the last probably like what two years, has only come in to put people over. Uh, to put people over is to uh, already have a great. And I'm gonna try explaining this. Perhaps uh, you know you could do a better job at it yourself. Fuck ever. I'm going to try my very best at this, though. To put somebody over in, in this sense would be to put them, uh, to lose to them in an attempt to get them more popular. Getting a win over Chris Jericho would get you more more popular just due to Chris Jericho's uh, long and uh, championship belt filled history of illustrious careers, probably what I'm going for here. So Bray Wyatt wins. Uh, Rusev versus Jack Swagger, and I don't know. I don't know how they feel about this. Let me see where Battleground's taking place at. I have, I have two tabs up. One is the page with the matches, and then the other one has is the Wikipedia page with the smaller details, like fucking tagline, theme, song, uh, promotion, sponsor, date, venue. But here we are, the city, Tampa, Florida. Okay. Well, Rusev versus Jack Swagger with the whole uh, We the People versus uh, Russia and uh, Vladimir Putin's pretty penis. Uh, Rusev wins. I, I was watching uh, somebody I like to watch on YouTube I'm subscribed to, and I'd recommend you go watch. Don't watch him if you can't take a fucking joke. Same people dislike El Presidor, probably dislike this guy, but... Uh, people get sensitive, can't take a fucking joke. I don't know. He makes prediction videos as well, and he was talking about how Rusev, and I think he has a very valid point, is Rusev has obviously, he's been built up. He had, what was it, two PPV wins over Big E? Something like that. I might be wrong. I know it's at least one, because he, uh, they had a match at Money in the Bank. Uh... No, they couldn't have had. It's a payback before then, right? I think so. I don't fucking know, to be totally honest. But he said, Rusev has been built up. And that uh, it's going to be a top guy that puts him down, like John Cena or Daniel Bryan. Uh, because, you know, they persevere. And I think he's wrong about that. However, Rusev wins. Uh, Cameron versus Naomi, and I'm going to pick one. All I know is that they're the Funk Dactyls, and much like uh, the rest of uh, Divas Wrestling, I couldn't give a fuck about it. 
if uh, now granted Cameron Naomi from what I've seen they're more uh, wrestling divas and you know what I'm fucking talking about they have sex symbols and they have divas the Bellas are sex symbols uh, Eva Marie get that shit out of here you know I you you know they they got they got the big titties you know fine titties don't get me wrong but they got the big titties they can't wrestle for shit and uh, you, you know uh, they're there for eye candy you know what I'm fucking talking about uh, we've seen this for years <sighs> and that's a big that's a big problem with Davis wrestling I feel at least but I'm going to go with Cameron because she's the heel. I think. Battle Royale for the vacant WWE Intercontinental title. You'll probably want to follow the link for this one. Fondango, Sheamus, Cesaro, Sandow, Kali, Ryback, Axel, Dallas, Kingston, Ziggler, Van Dam, Biggie, Del Rio. Man. Always, I, I, I get a uh, little. Well, yeah going on whenever I try and make videos it says fuck you uh, so I feel like this one is a is a foregone conclusion I'm gonna tell you why is for a long time if you read anything on the dirt sheets or whatever there have been talks for a long time uh, uh, probably the past couple months of plans to unify the United States championship in the intercontinental why WWE is slimming down on the championships as a whole, I don't know. They don't get rid of the belts, just the just the championships. Um, now, Phil Sheamus is going to win because of this, and he's going to form some type of uh, new championship, or perhaps they'll call him the uh, Interstates Champ. I just pulled that out of my ass, and there's no way uh, in any sense going to happen. But uh, I see, I see Sheamus winning. I, I do. Uh, but realistically, I want you to think about people who could win this. Think about people that they would give titles to. And unfortunately, it's it's all politics and stuff like that. But that's just that's how it works. Have no reason to give it to Fondango, Cesaro, maybe Sandow. Fuck no. Kali, fuck no. Ryback and Axel, no. Dallas, yes. There's a reason to give it to him. Kingston, no. Ziggler, maybe. I don't know. They're sort of bringing him back a little bit. Van Dam, sure. Big E, not really. Del Rio, doubtful. So, Cesaro, they're pushing him a little bit, I feel. I feel like it, uh... And the evidence is there. He's been in a lot of matches. Uh, of course, he was in the Money in the Bank for the World Heavyweight Championship. And I mean, then again, so was Del Rio. Who gives a fuck about Del Rio anymore? Uh, I'm, if I was a betting man, but the point of this video is to make fucking predictions anyway, so we'll skip that shit. People who would win the, win the Intercontinental, Dallas or Cesaro. But Sheamus is going to win the Unify. Uh, Divas title match, Paige versus AJ Lee. Uh, I don't know. This is actually a good one. This is a good one. Now this match is going to be good to see. Pa uh, Paige and AJ Lee is obviously the new Trish Stratus and Lita, uh, and thank God for it too. Put some fucking uh, legitimacy back in the Divas division. However, uh, that doesn't mean that they ain't fine. AJ Lee and Paige. Uh, let me ask. Let me ask you, the viewer, if you had to be in a threesome with either the Bella Twins. Or Paige and AJ Lee? Which one you picking? Come on now. 
I know I would go with Paige and AJ Lee. And I'm sorry, you know, I got on that fucking rant about the sex objects, but the point of it is, is they're fine and they can fucking wrestle. And that is the fucking point of it all. I'm dropping a lot of F-bombs. Who fucking cares? Let's go on. Two out of three falls match for the WWE Tag Team titles. And we've seen Rowan and Harper versus the Usos already. Uh, Usos, of course, winning every single time. And I do not know. Um, and I do not know if this is the time that Rowan and Harper are going to take the titles. I've watched two prediction videos from Money in the Bank. Both of them said that Rowan and Harper were walking away with the tag team titles, and they were both wrong. Uh, I believe me and Chase, who uh, he was in my last PB's PPV predictions, he believed uh, that the Eric Rowan and Luke Harper would win. Uh, they'll quote me on that. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I went with the Usos. And I think the Usos are going to win again. I feel Rowan and Harper will get the first fall. Usos will get the second, third. I feel like that's going to be the way it goes. Fatal four away for the WWE World Heavyweight title. Kane, Reigns, Orton, Cena. Cena fucking wins this, and I'll tell you why. It has already been proven for a fact. For a fucking fact. Did I had you tricked there? So, eh. um, that Lesnar and uh, Cena are going to be the main events of SummerSlam. Uh, so... I don't know. They get, I feel like Vince, after finding out it was linked, he'd get cheeky with it and say, just to fuck with him, Orton wins, Cena gets it back the next night. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? The safe bet to make is John Cena. John Cena doesn't... I've made this prediction before. Um, a lot of people talking about Seth Rollins, and I'm going to tell you exactly... I will tell you exactly when Seth Rollins will cash in his money in the bank. WrestleMania 31. Roman Reigns beats Brock Lesnar with the WWE World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania 31. And as soon as he wins, it'll be a fucking fairy tale victory, whatever. You know, they'll have the fucking fireworks. Seth Rollins runs in, beats Reigns for the WWE World Heavyweight title. And that sets it up. Uh, the feud leading up to Extreme Rules, I believe, is the one after uh, is the one after uh, WrestleMania. There you go. I've said it. He's not cashing it in on John Cena, and uh, probably won't cash it in on Lesnar either. I feel like uh, it's it's guaranteed that uh, that Lesnar. Is going to win at SummerSlam. And I think it's a guarantee that at Battleground, Cena is going to win. Uh, that's my predictions. I'm going to stick to them. But I don't know. It looks like, at the very least, an interesting pay per view, at least for the Divas match uh, and the Intercontinental title match. Uh, Cameron and Naomi, I mean, seriously, who gives a fuck? Do you? I doubt it. Uh, Jericho Wyatt's probably going to be pretty good too, though. Uh, I mean, honestly. Uh, Jericho, I... You know, if you look at any of the WWE superstars, rather they be a face or a heel, and you wonder, and you wonder, I wonder what they're like in the real. You look at Jericho and go, that guy's a fucking douchebag asshole. And, uh, I don't know. I've never met Chris Jericho. I never will, most likely, unless, uh, some stars align. But, um, he, he just, he strikes me as an asshole. He, he really does. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm interested to find out. <sighs> Go ahead. Make your predictions. Think about it. Get your head going. It's. I think it's a lot funner if you do it that way. 
So, sort of what got me to start this video in the first place. And I'm sorry that my chief analyst, Chase, couldn't be with me on this video today. Uh, but, oh well, perhaps next time. I'll see what I can do about that. I might get somebody else. Who knows? Who knows? Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.